So today's how to build is on all these new block city buildings. So one of the first things I want to talk about is that um, many of these buildings I built at various different scales. So these all appear in the uh, Svelte interview when Malifios is using them like dominoes to knock each other down. And a trick I used is that at the end of one shot I might have a building this size being knocked down by something. And the next shot I would cut to something that was this size, which is supposed to be the same building, but it allowed me to change from various scales, so that's how I uh, sort of pulled that off. And um, in the description I'll link to a page where I talk about that a little bit more. But um, this little guy is just uh, alternating rows of uh, clear 1x2 plates and tan 2x3 plates. So all together it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There. So all together it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 tall. And then this guy over here is just about uh, three times that size. So uh, around the clear level are two tall um, one by two clear plates. And I've got three two by fours to make a uh, four by six and down here I actually have a four by six so again it's just a whole bunch of layers of that uh, I think I just did as many as I had tan plates to do it with but uh, you can see that these uh, basically same idea but on smaller scales uh, similarly this little black building is uh, supposed to be the same thing as this big black building hold on for a second hard to see black of course but uh, so this little guy he's got uh, this is two one by four plates a uh, one by four arch that's too tall those are connected to two two by four plate or two but sorry these are all bricks two by four bricks then a two by four plate on top we've got a one by two brick with a little uh, roof piece on top uh, same thing on the other side, and then the middle is a cone with a uh, cheese slope. You can see that it uh, has some of the same ideas as this big guy, but just in a smaller form. And the big one uh, along the back is, you know, this is just built up with a lot of brick. Uh, but the bottom got this arch on the inside, and then arch in front of that, which I've filled out with brick. That connect down through uh, and then just got you know this is a five tall area so again I'm using the tall bricks on the edges so yeah this is just like a um, eight by four by five with a couple arches set into it and up here uh, pull off the stuff this is just a big uh, castle piece and then I've just filled in some brick behind it and then on top I've got the uh, big nose cone piece uh, top with a cheese slope so same as the little building but bigger scale and this is this weird engine piece uh, with a cheese slope on the top and then this weird like shoulder pad plate a 2 by 2 tile and this uh, two by three plate with the round hole on the end. And again, doing the same thing on both sides, but in reverse. And just sticking the bottom of the engines on, and you get that. So yeah, that's that building. So to fill out the city, I have a lot of really small, simple buildings that are just one bright color. Uh, you know, I like bright colors, that's why I play with Lego. So when I was building, designing New Block City, I wanted each building to basically be one color. So I just took all of my bricks of each color and then looked for cool pieces. So in, er, in lime green, I had this cool uh, sort of quarter circle piece, two of those, and uh, put a little tie on top to hide the studs. And then these are just some two by three bricks down there. Thought that looked like a cool little building. Um, this is a weird shade of brown that I don't think has been in use for a while. Never really got used very much to begin with. 
Or is this the new nougat color? I'm not sure. But anyway, had these uh, big slopes, just made them go alternating, and then just filled out the bottom and top with some bricks. And again, when it's off at a distance, it just looks like a, a building. And then this is a, a weird shade of purple, more magenta than the dark purple. But uh, I had a cone, so two by two bricks and a cone. Uh, some other small buildings. Uh, my turquoise bricks, I had one of these uh, weird guys, and uh, you can stick a plate back into the hole right there, so I did that. Uh, this is, you know, another hammerhead sort of shape. Uh, these are the uh, pin connectors from Technic. I think these are all from the old Rock Raider series, because they had turquoise in it. I had a bunch of 1x2s, and uh, just topped it off like that. This uh, purple one, you'll notice there's a little blue in there because I didn't have a lot in purple. Basically, it's all held together by an axle that's anchored on those plates. And then uh, these wheels are from the old night bus. Not sure if they're on the new one. Haven't gotten that. And then at the bottom, again, I've got uh, another blue cylinder plate so this can actually attach. And then I had this purple roof piece. So uh, that just makes a nice... And I like the way the holes... You know, the gaps between the, the wheels add some character to the building. Uh, you know, and it does look like a building, whereas this doesn't really look like a building, but I think it's cool anyway. Uh, so this red building is mostly just uh, this piece, and, uh, you know, this is from the old Mtron sets, but I flipped it around so it becomes a W building, and... Uh, then I just filled out the bottom here, so that's a 2x2 two two brick, some 1x2 plates with a 2x3 slope, and some 1x3 slopes on the side, so it fills out and sort of looks like something. Uh, some other small scale buildings, getting a little larger now. So this guy is uh, a whole bunch of these 1x2 plates with the little... Uh, groove on the side, so I had a whole bunch of those, and I also had a bunch of this 1x2 plate that has a little ladder, so uh, I just found out what height, uh, you know, I needed to have between the ladders to make them all line up nicely, and that ended up being uh, five plates tall, so I've got groups of five of these that are in between, and then at each layer, I've got a ladder brick and a uh, one by two plate, and it's just a whole bunch of that unit stacked on top of each other. And then, uh, hold on one second. At the top, I'm using the uh, grill plates because obviously we want to continue all these cool lines on the top. Uh, this dark green building, uh, you know, sort of has the shape of a traditional skyscraper. Uh, I just had one of these pieces, you know, so it goes from 2x2 two two to 1x1, one one, and I just stuck one of those long 1x1 uh, one one bricks and on some 2x2 two two bricks. This uh, brown building highlights the uh, treasure chest at the top, which I thought was a it's a cool piece to not use for a treasure chest, so I thought it had some architectural niceness. And then because it has the little handle on the side, I wanted to mimic that some. So uh, this is like a door hinge piece that I had a bunch of in brown because they used it as a tree piece back in the old uh, river retreat set. And then, you know, we've got an arch on a front and a door window here, and then the rest is just some some basic bricks, and again, using grill plates on the top because the studs just didn't work with this one. Um, we'll leave that one for now. This one, um, so I made this to go on the street next to the uh, Micro Green Grocer and the Micro Scale Movie Theater, so it's supposed to sort of be a building at that scale, which is slightly different from some of, some of these others. And I had that uh, one by two brick with the ice cream on it, so I thought this is sort of like an ice cream parlor. And I wanted to use the dark red that's in the ice cream, so I just got out all my dark red pieces and put together this roof. So, you know, these are Technic axle bricks, some roof pieces, 
uh, some of those curvy slopes. This plate is a, a weird curvy plate, but I like the way it uh, curves it down. And then these are some regular slopes here. So again, you can see that uh, just sort of fit that all onto some white plates and then uh, or white bricks and uh, got some columns down here. But again, the bottom, just some arches and some basic bricks. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, this yellow building uh, is actually built you know, to stand up not the way studs are. So uh, I had some of the, this piece and thought they would make a cool front of a building and I had this weird, these weird pieces, I don't know, it's a weird curvy slope and again that 2x2 two two plate that sort of curves down. Uh, I just thought that gave it a nice little top and just put a little 1x2 plate there. And I just built a whole bunch of plates to run along and uh, fill out the bottom. And then uh, put it all back together and stands up. Has a sort of nice silhouette. Uh, this I building, uh, I had a whole, I have a whole bunch of this I piece from uh, Pick a Brick. And I thought it would make a cool little building here. So uh, again, based on the I piece, I just pulled the color scheme from the rest of the building uh, for that, so got one by one uh, cylinder bricks in white and a bunch of four by four plates in black and just built a whole bunch of levels of that and then it's, uh, again, when you put it in the background it doesn't look as weird as when it's all by itself, but uh, you know, sort of interesting building. Um, these two are both built on the same principle of uh, these uh, half octagon plates. So I have a whole bunch of those in green and uh, I had some in transparent red. So I wanted to capitalize on that. So for the green building, just pull apart a level here. You can see that uh, these are just, again, a whole bunch of probably pick a brick. Uh, one by one transparent yellow pieces uh, stacked up and then I have a two by two and a one by four brick in green so that the windows are just along the sides here and then uh, a whole bunch of those plates and then again just stacking up a bunch of levels of that. Uh, and this works on the same principle except I had enough transparent red that uh, I didn't have any one by one bricks that were square, so I have the column cylinder ones along the edges and uh, having the uh, plate and trans red and then uh, some trans red bricks in the middle. And then this was as tall as this building could be, obviously not quite as tall as this, but they, uh, you know, work well. This uh, gold building, I had a whole bunch of these gold 2x4s from the uh, 50th anniversaries. And then um, you can see actually that there's two different shades of gold here, but um, if we look at this level, uh, I also had a couple two by twos. I think those all came together. So this is a two by two, two by two, two by four, and then the top is some more two by fours. And then, uh, you know, I just rummaged through all my gold pieces and had a whole bunch of uh, this slope topper, and again, this weird curvy brick which I believe is from the Indiana Jones uh, Ark of the Covenant piece so uh, and then some gold jumper plates with gold studs and just sort of filled it out to uh, look nice so yeah and I really want to build this at a larger scale but I don't have the gold pieces for that so I just have to stay at this scale for now uh, this orange building it's really weird. It doesn't really look like a building, but again, I just had these weird orange pieces and wanted to figure out how to use them. So I'll take this one apart, actually. So uh, down here, I've got these, uh, again, I think these are Exoforce pieces, maybe. Sort of a curvy down slope. 
Got four of those with uh, this curvy brick. They're all sitting on um, some plates. So basically there's two 2x4 two plates with a 2x6 two plate, 2x2 two two plates, so those are all sitting on top of that. And then at the bottom here we're just filling it out with uh, these uh, bricks that go out, and then uh, one by two bricks, and then uh, the whole kit and caboodle. How does this go? Hold on one second. That goes like that. Right. So then um, this is a two by four brick and a one by six. These pieces do not actually connect this way, so this will just sort of slide together and be held on like that in a second. And so then this contraption over here, you can see it's a two by six plate. And then I've got some Technic bricks here. So some orange with a hole in the middle where I've put in, uh, again, our favorite little half stud piece. Two of those sticking out. And this one's got the two holes in a one by two brick. Um, and then one by four up there. And then uh, this is some upside down slope pieces that again might be from the SpongeBob set or the recycling truck from town. And uh, put a one by four tile on that. And that's what's gonna slide into that space down there. And if we top this off with two by six plate, we got this uh, piece to connect these two together so they actually fit together. I like the way that the, um, you know, I built this so that the lines of the weird pieces on the front would be matched by the middle stuff. Um, so even though this is a crazy looking building, it still sort of has nice looking lines. And again, these slope pieces we're going to put on, so the hole right here fits on the half pin. And then on the top, we've got these uh, little plates with wings, some more curvy pieces and uh, two of those, and uh, sort of looks like a little person. I actually uh, plan to, during the Orange versus Green War, have these two buildings fight each other. Uh, this one sort of looks like a samurai guy, and this one sort of looks like, I don't know, someone with big ears, maybe. But uh, this samurai building also is uh, a strange little one, so let me take this apart for so this one is held together almost entirely by these uh, camera bricks right here. So uh, basically just stack three of those together and then uh, this partial Travis brick down at the bottom. And then this is a uh, one by 10 plate. And then I've got some, these one by two cheese grater pieces some more plates and a brick. So I made two of these. And these are the side of the building. And they uh, line up uh, pretty good into here. Not exactly connected, but so you have to pull them apart a little bit. And then uh, Put those there, so that gives you a nice solid base to work on. And then the front pieces, so, at, well, at the top, these are the curvy arch, some cheese slopes, so one by two plate, so that gets to be our little samurai head. Then in front, uh, we're doing this weird, I guess it's for car bumpers, um, and then uh, one by two plate, so that goes right there. So then, um, this piece has got two two by three plates, a whole bunch of these cheese grater plates, or slopes, because I had a whole bunch of them, and this building was a way to use them up. Uh, one by four tile down the center. This is gonna go on this top camber brick. This is just a little piece with some cheese slopes on a plate. That goes right there. This bottom one is a uh, one by four, a two by four. Uh, and then I got this curvy slope piece with a plate on the bottom, more cheese graters, more cheese slopes. And then this fits right across the bottom. And then, um, you know, you've got this nice stud connection on the bottom, so you can actually connect it to something. So this is just a 
two by six plate so that it has a little more stability. Obviously two by seven would be perfect, but they don't make that size. So uh, that's that building. Then uh, this big gray one. Um, so uh, it's only two studs thick, but uh, got an arch piece here, some big slope pieces. These are just basic bricks and the back fills it out. Uh, some window train window pieces here. That's a plate. Um, some little one by three arches and then you know keeping that hole there with the bricks, standard bricks. Some taller train window pieces, some inverse of the big slope. And this deal at the top here sort of looks like elephant ears. So uh, on top of all that, there's a 2x6 plate, the uh, wing seat piece, it's a plate with some cheese slopes, uh, again, plate with cheese slopes there, then this big piece, which is sometimes used in vehicles, um, I just put in a 1x2 tile there, fits very nicely over this big contraption and gives some nice top, and then uh, again this weird 2x2 two two slope piece. I like that little face there, not that you see that. Uh, so that's that building. And then the last three that I'm gonna do um, also exist as larger versions, but uh, I think the way most of these was created that I built the large building first and then I just shrunk it down to make the small building. So this is the blue bank building. It's got a big B on the front. So each of these is a Technic brick that I've just uh, put a transparent brick into, plate rather. So this is a 1x4 Technic brick, these are two 1x2s, a 1x4, two 1x2s, 1x4, and then I just made these three blue and the rest yellow and then you get the little B there. Um, so that's the whole front and then an arch and some bricks and a little plate bottom. The whole back is just standard brick and uh, we've got these curvy arches at the top. So it's a two by two brick, the curvy arches, some one by two plates, and a two by two tile at the very top. So that's the blue bank building. Then you get this hotel, pink hotel, which sort of looks like Pepto-Bismol um, bottle. Um, so this used up a lot of my clear pieces. So the interior here is basically all um, one by two clear plates stacked on top of each other so sometimes they go back and sometimes they go across and they alternate a little bit to give it some stability um, and then I had a mixture of uh, so basically in the back you'll see that the pink juts in that's because otherwise this pink side piece would not be connected to the rest of the building unless you did some slope on the bottom so I had a 2x2 two two pink piece here this is mostly 1x1 one one, um, pieces except for the bottom which is a 1x2 there's a 1x2 that sticks in that's the same on both sides and then this up here is all 1x1 one one pink pieces and it's held together by these uh, two by two uh, downward slope transparent pieces. The center is a mixture of bricks and plates that are transparent. And at the very top, I've got two one by one round plates that I'm sticking right in the middle there. Not the sturdiest connection, but it looks good. And then this, uh, I think this is more of a residential building, probably an apartment building. And this one I built the small version first and then built the big version afterwards. Um, but uh, again, these are, I got a whole pick a brick full of these one by two clear plates, which is why I have them in so many buildings. But uh, we've just got two by three plates. And then these plates, which have the lines going either way, I chose to have them all horizontal. Um, and then at the top here, You've got this handle piece and uh, tile on the top and then just a little one by two plate at the bottom so you know there's like a little doorway down there. So those three buildings, hold on. So I've also built larger versions of these three buildings, as I said before. 
can get them in the shot. So uh, this red one is the most recent, and I don't think it's actually showed up in an animation. But basically, to mimic the lines on the side of the building, I uh, just took uh, these are just you know some clear bricks, and then the rest of it is basically red plates. And here's an arch to mimic the little hole at the bottom. But this is just layers of plates sticking out, alternating throughout. And uh, at the top, I'm using some big slopes to mimic that. So um, again, there's not much to this building. It's just basically layers of, of patterns. And that's what a lot of buildings in real life look like. So, you know, I don't mind doing that here. Uh, this building, I, I have gray pieces in here because I just don't have big pink plates. But all the pink in this, aside from this little arch, is a uh, one by one brick because I got that a whole bunch of those in pick a brick. And then the windows here are the uh, one by two by two tall windows, again, from pick a brick. And uh, got a whole bunch of uh, gray plates, as I said, and then just built it sort of telescoping up so you know each different level is uh, gets smaller and smaller and then the top I've used some let me orient it this way some wind a windscreen piece and then I've got a whole bunch of these uh, two by two downward slopes in transparent um, a couple bricks in there and then uh, topping it off with the little uh, witch's globe or crystal ball, which uh, again is imitated by that piece down there. And then the blue bank building. Um, so again, I had a whole pick a brick full of these one by two bricks in transparent blue. So I made that the front and the back and the side of the building, sorry. The front is um, a whole bunch of yellow uh, transparent plates and some blue transparent plates filled in to make the B. So um, I'll just sort of slowly pan up on this so you can copy the pattern if you want to. But uh, you know, I built the B first and then uh, built the building around it. At the top, I decided to make it uh, all transparent even though the little one is not, just because I had more transparent blue bricks. So I had some the 2x2 two two downward slopes again and the rest is just 1x2 brick. And I'm topping it off with tile because uh, studs just didn't make sense. Down here I just did some random detailing on the door. So I didn't have a big arch piece so I used some upward slopes. Then inside rather than just filling out with brick I've got some downward slopes so you get these weird shapes. And I just imagine that this is its address. It's number five on the street, rather than it being its racing number. These are those half octagonal plates, just three stacked on top. And these are the uh, sort of wing brick piece that we've uh, used in other builds. So yeah, and then there's just a little doorway down there at the bottom. So uh, yeah, that is uh, basically how I've built uh, all these different buildings. Uh, so now you can put them all together and have your own little uh, downtown New Block City.